Hello all, welcome to the sixth tutorial on Onshape uh, 3D modeling. Uh, in this tutorial, we are mainly focusing on uh, the sweep feature. For sweep feature, uh, basically uh, what we need uh, is a profile and we are sweeping that profile through the uh, uh, through a trajectory. Okay? So trajectories are usually some curves. So we want to uh, draw two things. First is the trajectory, then the profile. Okay. So uh, in this particular tutorial, what I am going to, uh, what I am trying to model are two models. The first one uh, will be a handrail like this, and in the second session of this uh, sweep, I will uh, try to model a spring like this with uh, 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 some n hooks. Okay. So these n hooks. Okay. It's a spring uh, with uh, some n n n hooks. Okay. So these two model I will uh, try to more uh, try to model and. Uh, uh, for starting the uh, modeling, I will uh, first create a part studio. Okay. After that, for sketching to help the sketch, I will uh, uh, import a, a, a picture. I have already uh, imported a handrail picture. So, I just make it here for helping me to sketch view normal so it's just to get the dimension properly what are the dimensions okay so this is actually the uh, trajectory okay then the trajectory curve and i will uh, make a, a circle as the profile for sweeping okay shall we start now first take a line click here and draw and we will draw an inclined line and again we will draw a horizontal line and we will move like this ok so again draw a vertical line now I am going to make a filleting at these two points alright and again these two points right then these two points okay so the filleting will be done here also I want to do the fillet okay so that's it okay so the filleting is finished now you want to go for the dimensioning so you can see there are some dimensioning this height is actually 70 to to draw that i need some construction lines okay so click on this make a construction line simply draw a line like this okay uh, uh, then i will just go to the constraints i will take a horizontal constraint click this as horizontal and i'll go to a tangent constraint okay i'll uh, click this to this okay so now that is tangent okay now next thing i'm going to do uh, do another construction line it should be simply like this okay again and the construction line somewhere here all right again I'm, I'm i'm going to make it tangent to this and this tangent to this after that i'll i'll go to a perpendicular constraint i'll make this perpendicular with this okay and this perpendicular with this all right that's uh, finished now i want another construction line here right click here click here i'll just make a vertical constraint line all right then i'll make uh, the ta tangent constraint and i'll select the tangent constraint and make it this here okay so uh, now we will go for the dimensioning okay click the dimensioning tool all right I click this line and this point so what we it's it's 70 all right that is 70 and uh, you know this arc we want to dimension that is we know that is a uh, uh, 10 okay 10 now this we want to remove that arc we already made us 5 okay so for that what we want to do we'll delete again that constraint 
hit delete okay so then we'll go to again four dimensioning click here make it as 10 okay so now it's 10 and another we'll make dimension these two lines that is again seven zero all right that's finished now we'll go for dimension this and this that is 35 i think that is 35 all right what is that that is 35 okay so 35 all right then um, i can make another uh, dimension between these two so what is that is actually 25 okay so that is 25 all right now it is fully constrained this will be already uh, uh, 10 okay so uh, you can see that will be that will be 10 okay, it's it's in a uh, it's in a light gray color okay so this now it's fully constrained you can finish the sketch okay click on the check button uh, then the front plane sketching is finished now all right now what we need, we have right now is our profile i mean the uh, trajectory where we want to sweep and uh, uh, next thing we want to uh, draw the uh, profile which we wish to sweep okay for that again i'll go for the sketch i'll select my top planar for the sketch where i will simply draw a circle of diatomum okay you can draw anywhere in the front plane okay make it as uh, uh 10 mm okay so that is the uh, handrails a uh, road uh, uh, dia now we move to another constraint that is a new one for you it's pierce constraint okay so i'm going to pierce this uh, uh, particular profile uh, inside the trajectory for that you can click on the pierce go select the midpoint of the circle then click on the uh, trajectory the path okay so you can see now the circle is centered to the uh, trajectory okay so now we finish the select okay so now we go to the sweep you can select it from the uh, toolbar 3d toolbar click on the sweep you can see we are going for a new part it will be solid it will be new and the phases and the sketch region to sweep okay so that we can select as the profile okay so the circle already we drawn that is the profile and now we want to select the sweep path you click on the sweep path go to the sketch one okay so that sketch will be uh, or you can individually select each each curves in the row so better we will click on the uh, sketch one all right so you can see our sweep is finished okay you can see the sweep is finished okay so this is a simple example to introduce the sweep feature in the on shape okay hope you enjoy the video thank you for watching